All right, dudes and dudettes, this episode we're going to be making some ALF steel. I hope you enjoy. All right, guys, so last episode we went ahead and built this little area back here. Now, I did go ahead and just kind of change this a bit so it just looks a little bit better. Don't worry, this is all extremely temporary. This is just so I didn't have to look at all the different ores and stuff, but yeah. So, last episode we made this here. Now, I did go ahead and upgrade these to the Elven Mana Spreaders off camera. Um, I'm really a fan of this. Each one of these spreaders has four of these little endo flames connected to it. Uh, so what we're going to be doing over here is we're going to have two different mana spreaders here. This is where the um, the pressure plate's going to be, where they can grab the <clears throat> the the coal here. And then these are going to be where our endo flames are. We're going to switch these over to grass blocks, don't you worry. And then we're going to have a mana spreader on top of here and on top of here. Now, I don't believe we need the elven ones. But I'm going to go ahead and make them just because, you know, we can and it'll look a lot better. So uh, I did hear something. I don't know if it's true, but um, endo flames can only have four. Um, or I'm sorry. A, a mana spreader can only have four endo flames attached to it. I don't know if that's the case, but we're going to go ahead and just act like it is. So we'll, we'll do this setup here just a little bit. Uh, but in order to get the alf steel, because we need these alf steel pylons, we need to get uh, alf steel, right? And to do that, we need to make something called the mana infuser from Botania. Uh, or this is really mythic bot botania, what bot botany, um, and so we need this guy in order to make the Gaia pylon, which is where we're going to be aiming for today. So yeah, we need a gas here, which is cool because we can get it from the the creeper stuff. But uh, yeah, went ahead and made a elevator to get up here, so it looks beautiful. And this world is really coming together. Now, we are going to be building something there next episode. I was trying to get it to work, but couldn't get the building to look right. So we're going to waste, a, or not waste, but we're going to wait a little bit longer for that one. All right, so to get the Alf Steel, like I said, we need that Mana Infuser from Mythic Botany. And to make it, we need the Rune of Winter, Autumn, Asgard, Summer, and Spring. Um, so we're going to be working on this now. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, my runes seem to have disappeared. Or when making the Terra Steel armor, it used them up. So we need to go ahead and make up the basic runes again. Uh, so I'm actually going to be doing that off camera here. And I'm actually going to make two sets because I want to get a set of armor uh, right there because we have the Mana Steel armor, we have the Elementum armor, and then I want the Terra Steel armor here because I have. Our other armor, diamond armor, and then we're going to have probably, you can put emerald armor in this. So we're going to have that right over there. Okay, so we have the, the rune of water, earth, air, and fire. Uh, so now we have the basics of pretty much everything we need uh, to continue moving on, you know, getting the rune of winter, autumn, Asgard, summer, and spring here. So the one for winter requires water, earth, okay? Um, so we go water, earth, booyah, pretty good. All right. And then we need a cake. I don't think I've made a cake in a very long time. Okay, we do have everything for the cake perfect. All right. And then wool and two snow. Okay. All right. And so with all of those materials, um, we place them here like so. Yeah, and then we just wait for these guys to get made up. All right. And now all we need to do is just chuck this guy here and click it. Cool. So, yep, we did get our runes back. Perfect. But we have the rune of winter. Amazing. All right, next is the Rune of Autumn, and this is going to require fire and air. What I'm going to go ahead and do is remove those here, because we're not going to be fighting anyone while we're doing this. So we need fire, air, leaves, and a spider eye. And just like that, we got it. Perfect. So now we have the Rune of Autumn, right? Yep, perfect. So Winter, Autumn, and Asgard. Now this is one, yeah, Netherite Ingot. Rod of the Bifrost. Okay, so, yeah, we need to do a couple of things. Like chuck a mana diamond in, and two mana pearls. And with those made up, we should be able to, yep, Rod of the Bifrost. Ooh, look at that, Elementium Shears. 
perfect. Okay, so we have this one guy here. And what else do we need for this? We need air, air, autumn, and pride. Two mana pearls, summer. Ooh, this is gonna get a little out of control. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and make two runes of summer here just to be safe. All right, so we have two runes of summer, so we can go ahead and make up the the pride one. Let's see here. Okay, air. We need another autumn as well. That's okay. So summer fire and two mana diamonds. All right, summer fire, two mana diamonds. Perfect. All right, the rune of pride. Now we do have an extra summer one here just because I wanted to make sure we didn't lose it, but we're going to go ahead and try to use the autumn one. All right, so air. Yep, we do have plenty of netherite for this. All right. So netherite ingot, air, autumn, pride. What else did we miss? Oh, bifrost. All righty. So we have our Asgard, autumn, perfect. That's it, you're dead. You've been looking at me funny for too long. All right, so all we need is the Rune of Spring. So water, fire, wheat, and saplings. All right, perfect. So that should be everything we need for that. Now we do need a little bit of live, or the, yeah, the living wood converted over. Looks like we're fresh out. Wait a second. We need the Glimmering Dream Wood, and bam, Mana Infuser is ours. Okay, so let's pull out the Lexica Botania thingamabobber. Um, all right, do we need a special thing under this? Yes, okay, so, ooh. All right, so we need those cool changing blocks from Botania. Let's have a look here. Okay, yeah, so Shimmer, Shimmer Rock is what we need here. We need Bifrost. Alf glass. Okay, so we need to make some mana glass here real quick. Ooh, that glass texture is kind of broken. All right, so we're just gonna chuck this guy here. Per okay. There we go. All right, and then we just chuck the mana glass in. All right, so we have our other Rod of Bifrost, we have our Elf Glass, Bifrost Block. Oop, one second. All right, and now we just combine the Living Rod with the Bifrost Block. We get five of these guys. Perfect. All right, and for the time being, we're just gonna put this guy here. All right, booyah. All right, and then we're gonna put a spark above it here. Very cool, so if we click it here. Yeah, look at that, okay. So, to make the elf steel, we need elementium, uh, dragonstone, and pixie dust. Okay, so let's have a look here. All right, so we have the elementium here. Let's just do that. We have the mana diamond here and that. So we need to go and convert it over to the elementium stuff. Chuck this guy in, chuck this guy in. There we go. Okay, so let's have a look here. We're gonna go ahead and throw in the pixie dust, dragonstone, and elementium. Takes two mana pools. Dominant spark upgrade to pull from mana. Okay, so dominant spark. Okay, so we, we do have that upgrade for the spark. Let's see if we can just simply click it with it. Okay, that definitely worked. All right, let's try it out now. Ooh, yes, look at that. Okay, spinning around. There's some particles over that, it's really cool. Oh wow, look at that, they're orange. Yes, look at this. Hey, look at that. Wow, that drained a lot of mana, but we have our first elf steel. Is there armor we can make out of this? No, that's unfortunate. Oh, but we can upgrade our things. Ooh. Looks like just tools to, for that. 
Okay. Well, we can definitely make a tear steel blade, make it the alf blade. That'll be cool. Okay. We'll worry about that later. Now we need to convert this into nuggets. Perfect. We need to make another natura pylon. Um, we're going to make a total of four of these. We might need to make another one of these guys. So, all right. So, yep, we are able to make these guys no problemo. Uh, but it looks like we only have enough to make three of these guys. Okay, and I do believe we need four to fight this guy. Yeah, we need a total of four of these guys. Guy uh, dudes. Okay, so we do need to go ahead and make up another one. Uh, I'm probably going to make up two of these and then kind of let our system run for a bit. All right, so we have all of these guys made up. Now the uses for this. Yep, okay. Frick. We need more pixie dust. Gosh dang it. Okay, so we have enough to make the four of these now. Perfect. All right, so we have the Gaia pylons. However, there is one thing we do not have, and that is the beacon. So that means that we're going to have to fight a wither probably next episode. I'm not going to do it this episode because we're going to stick with the Batania stuff, and we need to fight a wither to do that. So we'll start off like, a, like maybe a boss rush next episode or something like that. But what we need to go ahead and do is create a Terra Steel sword because I want to go ahead see if uh, we can make the Alf Steel sword here. So, all right, so we need a Terra Blade here. Wow, that was easy to make. All right, and then we just need to combine it up with another Alf Steel ingot. Very good. All right, let's go ahead and make up one more. Ah, uh, we do not have enough mana, so I need to let this generate back up for a little bit here, unfortunately. But yeah, this is going to be sick. So we should be able to use this guy still, too. Yep, we sure do. All right, I'm going to go AFK for a little bit, let the mana kind of recharge, and then we'll make our, uh, our sword. All right, so some time has passed. We have our new off steel ingot. Um, I went AFK for probably about 30 to 45 minutes, and we could probably make up another one of these guys. So super duper cool. But we're going to go ahead and make our Alf Blade. Check it out. Oh, I forgot about that. Wow, it's got some range on it. Okay, let's test it out. Um, which... Got him. Nice. And the cool thing is it'll use mana to keep it repaired. So what I want to go ahead and do now is get some good enchantments on this dude. Because it's going to be sweet. And then we're also probably going to make the uh, Terra Steel armor for our display. So we're going to need a Disenchanter. Yes. Um, okay, yeah, we should be able to make this no problem. Bam. Disenchanter. Perfect. And how many books do we got? We don't got a lot. We got a lot. Perfect. All right, guys, so we're here over at the starter base because this is where we have our enchanting set up. I've got a bunch of... Um, pickaxes here so we can go ahead and test these guys out get the oh these oh my gosh why do i have pickaxes all right that was a total brain fart on my part oh my goodness okay so enter disruption perfect beheading something we're gonna want um we definitely want to get sharpness sharpness three not that good um sharpness four Okay, so we didn't get really anything good there. We do have a few more. Oh, and we're out of levels. Okay. Um, so definitely don't want this. Uh, Vorpal. What does Vorpal even do? Randomly performs powerful attacks and decapitations. Okay, so Vorpal 3, maybe something we want. Soulbound, something we want. Ender Disruption, Soulbound, so we can go ahead and get rid of that. Beheading, something we definitely want. Okay, we don't need leech, so nothing to worry there. 
All right, Vigilant. I uh, don't really want that. So let's see how this Disenchanter works. I'm going to throw it right on top here. Okay, so it requires power. Okay. I actually think having it here will be a pretty good idea. And here's why. We have a whole lot of armor in our system here that uh, we can pull and chance off. So I put that there. Um, always on. Soulbound, Ender Disruption. Very cool. Sharpness, got it. Beheading, okay. So Ender Disruption, wow, this is gonna be tough. All right, so what do we have in here? Uh, beheading for most of these. Yeah, mm, okay. <clears throat> So we can go ahead and throw on Sharpness. That means 15 attack damage. Uh, I think we need some more than that. Okay, guys. So it's been several hours. And I got it. I got all, all of the good stuff. So we got Sharpness 4 on this guy. Sharpness 4 here. And Sharpness 4 here. So we're going to go ahead pull Sharpness 4 off of these guys. And let's see here, and do it here as well. Awesome. So let's get these guys in here. We don't need Cavalier. Don't need Bane of Arthropods. Um, don't even need Vorpal. Enter Disruption. We're not going to put that on yet. Sharpness 3. Okay. So over here, we're going to take our Sharpness 4. Sharpness 4 makes Sharpness 5. And then we're gonna throw it on this guy. 16 attack damage, very cool. Okay, so we're gonna throw Soulbound on it as well. Uh, beheading, this is gonna get expensive real quick. Let's see, what if we do this? Beheading, f nope, still beheading, we're not gonna lose that, okay. So I'm gonna pull, because we get it back, the looting off of here. And then we're going to throw this guy over here. Right, where's our looting? There's our looting. And there goes the anvil. Perfect. So now we have this elf blade that should be very OP. Now, it's not going to be as OP as the uh, mechanism tool. Okay, so it's three of those guys. Let's see. Okay, so we won, or we're really two shot it. So we're two shot in these guys. Okay, one shot in spiders. What do we do to creepers? Okay, if we jump attack, we can crit them. We don't need to crit spiders. Yeah, we missed. Okay. So it's not as strong as we'd really like it, okay? But, you know, we had to go ahead and test it out just to see if it was something we wanted. But beheading is definitely working. Holy crap. Um, we'll get to test that on the... Okay. It's like, oh my goodness. We run out of space. Anyway. We'll test that on the Enderman. Not Enderman. Wither Skellies. Okay, so I was looking for another fortress, and I found a bastion. Let's see here what we got going on. Is this a bastion? Maybe. This is weird. Okay, this is not like any other bastion I've seen. Is there a downstairs? Okay, so it's a bastion-like thing. Oh, wait. We got stairs, okay. Ooh, we one-shotted that fool. Weird, okay. Looking for another fortress. Oh, look. I found the other half. It's like it was split in two or something. There you 
You with the crossbow. You need to knock it off. All right, what we got here? We got obsidian, spectral arrows. I really feel like those should do much more damage. What about magma cream spawner? Do we have one of those in here, or are they different? Ooh, we got a chest over here, though. Ooh, ancient debris. Oh, look at this room. We're just going to go like right here. Oh, they still got me. Ancient Debris. Crossbow with mending. Debris. Hey, you jerk. I'm trying to loot here, okay? Come on. What's I got? Block of gold. Nether Fortress. Oh. What happened here? I don't know. Oh, I know what it is. Look at that. It's another one. They already salty at me. I haven't even opened your chest. <laughs> Ooh, crying of city and a lodestone grabbing that. I've never actually had one of those before. Hot tourist. <gasps> I found one. Oh my gosh. All right, we need to locate. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put a waypoint here. Okay, I definitely know there's one that's gotta be closer than this, cause that is ridiculous. <gasps> there he is. Beheading. It works too good. We got one first try. What about second try? Are we that good? We knocked him off. Oh, yeah, I can return fire, you little piece of crap. Oh, my goodness. That beheading is working way too well. And that wither skelly's gone. There's another one. Oh my gosh, two for two? Two for two with wither skilly skulls. That is ridiculous, guys. All right, we got one over here, maybe. We got a lot of lag over here, that's for sure. I saw him, target acquired. Oh, target acquired. Let's take out the blazes. All right, so we hit the wither. Oh my gosh, three for three. I don't remember the last time I killed three wither skeletons and got three wither skeleton heads. Now, I know this is modded Minecraft, but if you could do that in vanilla, my goodness, three for three. Might as well go play the lottery at that point. Look at that, we have five. On camera, five. What is that noise? Target acquired. Let's fight two with their skellies. Two. Look at that. Six. Ow. Got me good there. Oh, boy. No, Skelly. Okay, blazes are annoying. So we are seven. Or we're six for seven. All right, Wither Skellies, come on. Come on, we got eight. Oh, my. 
Come on. Ah, he didn't drop one. Okay, neither of those guys dropped one. He did, though. Oh my gosh, look at that. 11. We just need one more for 12, dude. Oh my gosh. Beheading is OP in Minecraft. All right, but let's uh let's get out of here. All right, guys. So, we got quite a few pretty good items. We have 12 withered skeleton skulls. We even got three ghast heads. Bunch of blaze heads, a skeleton head, like beheading is amazing. So next episode, guys, we're going to see how this sword does against a wither. Anyways, guys, I will see you all in the next episode. If you did enjoy, please make sure that like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But guys, this has been Super Turtle, and I hope you have a fantastic day. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Bye-bye.